Hey friend, if you are new to recording vocals or even if you are a seasoned vocalist, sometimes the process can be a little bit overwhelming to get started recording vocals. Plus there is so much information online on how to do it the best way. Um, and today I hope to really simplify that process by giving you my three steps to recording and mixing vocals. Also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a free gift to give you. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is get your microphone set up for recording vocals. Um, this is the mic I actually use to record a lot of the lead vocal parts um, at my studio. It's fairly inexpensive. It's a Rode NT3 microphone. It's about $250. Um, and I've actually had it for like 15 years, so it's still working great. It's a condenser microphone, so it's more nuanced and picks up the sounds really well than, say, a dynamic mic would. And it also requires phantom power. The second thing I have here is a pop filter, which basically prevents some of the syllables like P's and S's from becoming overpronounced by blocking those uh, the, the air coming in from the P's and the S's. So you can get one of these. These are really inexpensive. They're like $20. The next thing is called the proximity effects. And this is how close you are when you are talking or singing into the microphone. So if you get really close like this, um, it gets really bassy and warm and um, can be you know too much. If you get back too far, you pick up actually a lot of room sound because you have to start to um, turn up the, the gain in the front of your interface and you just get a lot of room sound. So you want to get that sweet spot, not too close to the mic, but not too far back, um, maybe an inch or two away where you can pick up all the nuances of the sound, get a nice sound, but not be too bassy. Okay, so now that you have your microphone all set up, the next thing you're going to want to do is go into your DAW. In this case, I have Studio One open with a simple piano and drum track and you're gonna to wanna to set up a vocal track or an audio track. So you can just click T on your keyboard and then set the track up here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure that your input is selected for where you have your microphone plugged into. So in my case, it's input five. I'm gonna click OK. And then all you have to do is to record and able. You just click this little uh, red dot here and um, you can see that it's working because the meter, the green meter is going up and down um, on the track. Okay, so now that you have your track record enabled, you can click the circle down below here and to start recording on your track. And you can see that um, I'm recording because there's wave files and it's actually in like this yellow green color. Now one thing you're gonna really wanna make sure that you do is to set the level in front of the audio interface um, to the proper uh, level going in. So if I turn it up too much, you can see how the waveform is getting bigger. Um, now what you, I'm gonna turn it back down, but what you risk in doing is if you go too loud, you'll actually start to clip and that sounds really bad. So what we have here is, it, this is called um, headroom. So you can see that you have still enough headroom where you're not clipping and if you needed to bring the volume of the track up, uh, further later on you could do that and I'm going to show you how to mix in the next step but just make sure not to clip and uh, err on the side of caution so not too too big of a waveform because you can always increase the volume later. Hey friend if you don't know me my name is Eric Miller and I help home studio owners and guitar players write and record great music. If you're enjoying this video and getting value from it I would so appreciate it if you could subscribe. Okay, so the second step in recording vocals um, is going to be arranging, and I think this is really, really important. Uh, this has to do with making an interesting vocal arrangement, whether it's through adding harmonies, adding different you know, background vocal parts. Uh, so you can see this is a song I wrote with my band. Um, all the vocals are in yellow down here, so we have several background vocal parts and then a main vocal line. Okay, so let's give this a listen. If I solo out the vocals, I 
So it's really important to come up with an interesting arrangement, and I think it can really add to your song and also make your mixing process later so much easier. Okay, so step three is going to be the actual mixing of all the vocals, and I have them all in yellow uh, just so it's easier visually to see where the vocals are, and I try to track them so they're all next to each other on the mixing board, and it just makes it uh, a little easier. Now, the first thing, before you add any effects, is going to be making sure that your volumes are good. So I have, you can see the faders here. I have basically the background vocals pulled down a little bit and then the lead vocals um, up a little bit, just in the mix. The second thing is that I have them panned. So one of the vocalists is panned to the right um, about halfway and then the opposite for the other background vocals, just to create a little bit more space in the vocals. Uh, and create a little bit more interest. Then you can add effects. So to do that, what I've done is, you can see there's no effects up top here. I created a bus track and it's really easy in Studio One. You just highlight the tracks that you wanna create a bus track in, right click and click add bus for selected faders and um, it will automatically create a bus track for you. Um, and so they're all on this track here. That's where all of the effects are going to. Okay, so the first thing in the um, effects chain is the fat channel. And I really like the fat channel because I think it adds a little bit of color. So I'm gonna solo the vocals out and then you're gonna be, you can hear it with and without the effect, okay? So here's the vocals. Know that there's a line, there's a and then without the fat channel, will always be by my side. back with it. So it really helps it to pop and it actually gives it a little bit of color. So the fat channel is really cool for that. The second thing I added was the compressor. And you can tell it's working by there's a little bit of a yellow here that's indicating that it's being applied. The compression is being applied. And I have, you know, just a little bit. The ratio set pretty high, negative 16 dB. Uh, excuse me, that's the threshold. The ratio is set to two to one and with a pretty fast attack and release. The next I have is the reverb. Forever, no and like just to you, hear the difference, I'm gonna turn the reverb off. So you can, in my life. you can really hear what the, the reverb does. And I just have a, like a flat plate reverb with a room type of a small room um, set for that. And then the next in the chain is an analog delay. So again, this the delay I feel like just adds a little bit of warmth and a little bit of spaciousness. Um, you can hear it with, with the delay and without it. So this is without it. And then back with it again. And then lastly in the chain is a Pro EQ. So basically the Pro EQ is last, um, and all I did was just to cut a little bit of that low end off, especially with all that reverb and delay, just to make sure that it's not too muddy. There's a line, there's a line. And that's really it. That's how I would mix the vocals. Um, I try to make it really simple so that there's not you know, a thousand effects on here and is adding them on different channels. Um, and that's it. Okay, so I promised you a free gift. Um, I have a free five-step home recording guide to getting pro sounds from your home studio for you. It's a downloadable uh, worksheet that will help you just set up your home studio, get great sounds for minimal equipment. So you can get that by clicking the link in the description below or just going to millermusic.co, enter in your email address, and you can instantly get access. And I hope it helps you, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you.